Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. With God's help, we can and will resolve the problems which now confront us. And after all, why shouldn't we believe that? We are Americans. You know, I think the bottom line is, is that the people who sign up for the military and, and sign up to defend the country, they may not necessarily agree with what we go to war over or agree with the reasons why we go for war, but we don't, that's not even part of our thought process. We, we signed up to defend our country and defend each other, and we, we'll just do whatever we're told to do because we're entrusting in our government to do the right thing. One of the first things that you're taught very early is to put your emotions in a box, put the box on the shelf, and then you do your job, and you keep doing your job. And then only when it's convenient then would you then go back and unpack some of your own emotional baggage. And some of it you never really unpack. It's definitely one thing. Spending a year in a combat zone and having people shoot at you will make you grow up real fast. The hardest thing was definitely when you saw innocent people suffer, and then when you saw your people get hurt. There was a, an, an army like demolition team that had found a cache of weapons in a house 60 miles outside of Kandahar. While they were setting their explosives, um, a, a booby trap or some explosion went off in the building, and um, all but one of that team were killed. But it really hit home when that, um, when that Black Hawk landed and you saw those body bags coming off. That's when it hit home. And then uh, we flew out the one survivor. He would, uh, he was still conscious enough where he would trace out the names of his buddies on our flight nurse's hand. He couldn't speak because he was intubated, but he could, he could trace out their names on her hand, and that was... Shared suffering is not something that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis in the United States, and that's, I think, a good thing. It's progress. It's who we are. But when you in our, are in a combat environment, and even training up for one, it's continued shared hardship. So when you're relying on other people, when they're relying on you, when you share everything you have, when you're there for one another, that it's, it just, you become very close to these people. Somewhere um, between Iraq and Afghanistan, I, I changed roles and I started be, to wear the leadership hat and um, I was no longer allowed to be that guy that just had a carefree attitude. Like I was responsible for people and other people's lives and young people who were irresponsible like I had been, you know. The takeaways for me in the second half of my career were much more fulfilling. Um, they, they're very meaningful and, and the types of things that I think are good values in life with like morals and character and integrity and doing the right thing, the, the, doing the, the hard right over the easy wrong. And, uh, those are all things that I hope to display to my children. I learned uh, humility, uh, learned to be humble, I learned to be very thankful and, and for what we do have over here. Uh, we're so lucky to live here and to see how the people lived in, in another country on the other side of the world it made you really reflect back and, and just be grateful for everything that we have over here.